right. <laughs> oh, that's so much. It's so cute. <laughs> Hey, and how goes it? I'm Andrew, your DM for the day. Along with this band of miscreants, murder hobos, and all their own giggly bastards, we're the yeah. Dirty Rollers, and this yeah. is our Mudbots Goblin campaign. Um, you know, we're we're a little bit running behind, so this will be a little bit uh, shorter uh, intro here. Uh, so we'll just we'll try to smash right through things. Um, give us the old uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss any videos. Um, Check the descriptions for uh, the long form character intros um, and uh, you can go back to the channel and check the um, you know, start at the beginning if you want. If you're a new viewer or um, if you're not a new viewer, thanks for keeping up with us and uh, we super appreciate it. Uh, if you want to help us grow, go ahead and pass a link along to one of our videos. Uh, this one or one of the intro videos, maybe uh, to one of your friends. Uh, try and get somebody else uh, on board with it. Um, trying to think uh shorten this up a little bit uh i think that's really all we need to do at the moment before we get into uh character intros and um well, character and player intros um so james we'll probably do the uh, the character intros real quick and then uh, you have a recap for us right yes i do awesome so we'll start with you for uh, a character intro who are you playing oh I'm James, and I play Buckle Tick the Shallow. I am a warlock whose patron is the Great Old One. Awesome. Uh, Chrissy, who are you playing? Uh, you, oh, uh, I almost <laughs> fell off the couch. <laughs> 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 I, was, I was sitting sitting weirdly and fell sideways. Anyway, I play Mistella the Badger Druid. She's so Circle of the Moon, and she has a badger brother named Precious. All right. And oh damn it. I'm I'm slacking again. Uh artwork. 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 Uh, uh, uh book. There's some buckle You wound me. Sorry. <laughs> uh where's uh Stella artwork? And these Most artworks are done know. by uh Melissa over there. Hey. Uh Shardo? I'm Jacob. I play Sharda, the Gloomstalker Ranger. Oops. This little shadowy bastard here. And Melissa, who are you playing? I'm Melissa, and I play Iris Fart Gargle Way of the Astral Self Monk. But don't. And I'm Shadane. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's having some issues today. I'm sure you'll hear about it throughout this episode. Lots of shins. Shins uh, everywhere. Bard. Lots of birds. What's I'm squeeb? It's a squeeb. I'm a squeeb. I'm a battlesmith artificer that rides on a mechanical rooster named Baktak. Excellent. And Matthew, who are you playing? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> uh, my name is Matthew, and I play Nick Nick, the, the thief. Rogue of the group. And awesome. I am a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hear him roar. Is there a callback to another episode, I believe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hear him roar. God, James, your mic sounds so good. <laughs> it does. See? That's why I tell everybody, we, we, we keep getting better. We we're, we're keep slowly improving. Uh, piece we're by piece on our and, way. Yeah. Yeah. Individual by individual. All right. Everything's getting a little bit better here. Everyone sounds so nice and crisp tonight. <laughs> crisp. Crispy. Oh, and crisp. changes. Uh, for, for as much as I give Roll20 some crap here, I do have to say I am very fond of the new dark mode. It's less murder. Yes. Calls. Thank goodness. Not now I can truly play in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle Tick and Shardo both love the dark. Uh, mm. Now if they would just give me like yeah. a um, I don't know what do you call it. Uh, a burp. That's a burp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> something to let me know when I'm uploading a file that it's actually uploading. Because now when you go to upload, it just you hope that it's uploading, and then maybe it'll pop up. There, there's nothing. It doesn't give you like a loading icon or yeah, anything like that. There's no icon or or bar or anything. You just 
you click the button and hope it's working. Sometimes it does, it, sometimes it doesn't. It's a secret. A secret. You don't like secret to <laughs> anything? secret to everyone. No, no not when you're trying to figure out if it's actually working. It's cool that way. Oh it's my gosh. Fun. That was my favorite message I got from Elgin Ring. <laughs> Secret tunnel. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Ow. Ow. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, yes. Shardo <laughs> <laughs> had nothing to do with it this time. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, we'll do our quick little recap of uh, last episode. Uh, James, if you are ready. Uh, yes. On the last episode of Gabos, uh, I remember. Uh, Nick Nick decided to uh, hunt us down uh, some dinner and uh, shot an owl out of the sky. And uh, over dinner, uh, Styx, our uh, newly acquired companion, had uh, told us uh, some more details about uh, her old clan, uh, the Swift Stabs, how they're seemingly settling down and not necessarily doing all the crazy goblin stuff that she likes, how uh, the mud butts uh, do, how we do. And, uh, <laughs> and after that, the next day, uh, we started heading, I can't remember, we just started heading southeast, or, uh, but we... Uh, we were getting out of the swampy area to some dry land, and uh, we come across a uh, watering hole with a uh, good handful of goblins that seemed to be herding a uh, collection of oryx or oryx. Uh, big, big bison cow creatures. And uh, shortly after talking for about a moment or two arrows and uh, magic started flying uh failed negotiations uh yeah failed negotiation <laughs> you know uh then uh yeah uh, magic and arrows started flying uh some friendly fire happened uh <laughs> giant vultures were summoned and were doing crazy crazy damage <laughs> And out of all of the uh, Oryx, uh, only one seemed to be so disturbed that it, it tried to attack one of the groups. So that was one of the only casualties. The rest are still chilling and drinking. And uh, I think we found out that uh, these, uh, these goblins were of the Booyah clan uh, from either patches or uh, uh, little uh, markings or tattoos. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, and uh, that's that's where we left off. We just uh, killed all the goblins, and uh, now we're just regrouping. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, and then the other big clue you had was uh, how much magic was used against you <laughs> from the from the goblins there. And so yeah, I, if I remember right, we ended like pretty abruptly last time too, right? Like, yeah. like, like we people were, were just to... uh, just about to start sc uh, scrounging through uh, the pockets and such. Yeah. yeah. All right. So with that, um, to you guys, what do you want to do? Oh. Hey! What do we do? <laughs> uh, while, the while, <laughs> while they're going over to these bodies uh, up by the big rock, I'll go by the two that were... Uh, uh, near the end of the oasis looking thing, uh, where one of those, uh, curse looking blue goblins were down here, or it, it just had a, yeah, it just had like a weird magical effect. It's not, let me scroll down there. I think it just kind of on my screen is just kind of cut off, but. Whoop. Whoa. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> James, can you use the pan finger? The pan finger. The thingy. Okay, hold on a second. This thing. Hold on. I might need to grab my ooh, mouse because. <laughs> Did your mouse I'm, die? Well, I'm 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 just using the little uh, touchpad on on my uh, laptop, but it's just kind of giving me a little flack. So. Mm. Ah. 
So um, I'll be just a second. Sorry, guys. Did I get my butt scratcher back? I can't remember if I went and got it or not. I think I did. Yeah, but... you got it. Yep. Okay, cool. Sorry, my yeah. brain. And, Shrunk you know, just in case bitch. anyone forgot, what is your butt scratcher that you were trying to recover? It's this pointy stick that I have called a javelin of lightning. Yeah. <laughs> it's a butt scratcher. Scratches butt scratcher. Are, Iris scratches it's her butt right with uh, a magical item that can turn itself into a lightning bolt. Gets um, down in that crack and hole good. I hope you drop it sometime oh, and it God. turns into a lightning bolt. Uh, probably mid butt scratch. <laughs> Shocking. Oh, you sound like a little gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though <laughs> so is somebody looting the uh this guy over here uh sure i can unless you want to oh it don't matter i was just going to if nobody else was you guys said yeah. loot together uh, you, you go ahead i'll give you advantage Alright, so whenever James comes back uh, Let's see Actually, I'll just put this in chat real quick Did you want to wait for James to come back before I loot? No, or should right. we go ahead? You can go ahead loot it up. The loot is on fire uh, I roll investigation, I assume Yeah Do, 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 with advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right next to you. <laughs> and Nick, Nick's uh, giving you the, the, the proper guidance to, you know, like, oh no, search those pockets too. Don't forget those ones. Oh, good Nick, Nick. Good. Yeah. But, then she gets, but then she gets disadvantaged because Iris is there pulling on her tail. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, Must slap you. <laughs> so you can find a chain shirt on the, the little uh, ringleader guy here. A chain oh. shirt. Yep. Who can wear chain? I don't think I could wear chain. Uh. Huh. Is that a, okay. Would that be. Squeeb? 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 I don't think I, don't think I can double armor. Uh. Do you have better armor right now? Yeah, I've got, uh, what do I got? I've got, like, plate mail or something. Oh, you do? Do you? You have plate? Oh, no, no, I have plate being, uh, um, made for me. Oh. Trying to be fitted for me. Back at Tultalden. Let me, I can't remember what I have. So chain, uh, the chain shirt is medium armor. So anybody that can wear medium armor. Uh, so 13 AC, and then a uh, dex modifier maximum of plus two. I'm, I think as a duded, <laughs> I can't do that. I'm back and I finally have my mouse set up. So I'm happy. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I got scale mail. That's what I got on scale mail. Uh, mm. So no one needs chain? Should I just hold on to it? Yeah, well, maybe you can give it to... to uh, does Shardo need it? Oh. Uh, no, I'm good. Where is, let's see. We can give it to Glitz or... Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. All I can think of is the, the Granny Smith apple cheeks. Trilda. Oh. Uh, Slurg. Uh, Slurg. 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 So yeah, um, chain shirt, you can find... Uh, nine gold. Nine gold. Nice. I also realized, um, I don't know if I should turn the sound off on my dice, because... <laughs> uh, Chrissy's been editing the episodes after oh, I no. got the meat dice. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a super, uh, it's a super weird um, thing to hear just 
randomly you can just yeah not see those. what's happening <laughs> it's very weird but, to, be, to be honest it's like it's like you're at one of those uh uh, metal slides and you just take like a raw ribeye and just throw it down it and you just kind of hear the splatter. <laughs> oh. the splatter and slide. <laughs> All I can think of is like someone dropping a meatball on Ikea. <laughs> hey, hey, Andy. Yeah. As I made my way over to this rock over here, did it seem like any of these uh, uh, auric, or Oryx or however you say their names? I can never remember. Or uh, does or, it seem like they're just getting ready or are they just kind of calm or? and just drinking, not really giving a shit? So they, they're definitely keeping an eye on everybody. Like they seem maybe a little bit nervous, but they, they don't seem aggressive yet. When I'm on this big rock, I'm going to look at uh, this closest one to me and just telepathically go. I'm just going to do the hush noise very gently in its head. Just to see what happens. <laughs> it, it makes a weird sound and looks around. Like it picks its head up and looks around for a second, and then it goes. I wave. At, I wave at it when it looks around. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> and to I a hush again. What? Can you telepathically talk to me? Well, I, I, I just, you know, like I don't really think that they'll understand me. They're just like, why am I hearing shit? But why is it in my <laughs> head? So I'm I'm probably just t- mentally torturing this creature. Now. I'm starting to feel bad. <laughs> anyway, I'll 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 start digging through uh, this dude. Through yeah, I rolled for you while you were gone. You have oh, uh, cool. seven silver between the two of them. Oh sweet! Cool. Up on top of the rock there. Sweetish. Uh, all right, and then between the the rest of them here, um, just to make things a little smoother, you can find eight usable arrows. Uh, between them all and a pair of javelins and the rest of their stuff really isn't all that great hey hey, nick nick why don't you play us a victory song with those spoons i gave you Ah. (laughs) (laughs) you made the spoons that you gave me to catch my tears No, to play happy songs. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And catch your tears when you're crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Victory Screech! <laughs> no, not again. All right, never mind. <laughs> I was tempted. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm good on arrows. Um, Shardo can have them. All right. Wherever he is. Uh, how much coinage did we get? And are we divvying it out or are we just, who found him keeps him? <laughs> Jerem, I have nine gold. What else do we have besides nine gold? I got seven, so... Uh, seven seven silver from the ones... Uh, or seven silver, sorry. Yeah, Buckle take investigated or, or found, and then nine gold from Mastella's uh, corpse over there. Uh, I'm going to give a silver to each of us, and also I'm going to flip the last one over to Styx. Aww. Hey. She catches it, and she's like, thanks! All happy. <laughs> um, You're I'll welcome. Give, I'll give a Gold to everyone, and I've been losing it like what three extra? Three extra? Uh, two, it? yeah, three. Who's near? Who's closest to me? It's Nick, Nick, sister. I'll just split it among us. So I'll give the extra three one to uh, Iris, one to Nick, Nick, and I'll just keep the other one. That's the closest to me. Mascalan, I pull in my nose. Uh, no, no, in pocket, pocket. Ah. He points it to your ball sack bag. Put it in my pants. Uh, uh. Close enough, close enough. Why is it sticky? Your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need another purple plant? <laughs> no. no. No Listen more purple it. plant. Is she Iris. telling the truth? <laughs> Iris did it, but Melissa did, obviously. 
Right. Is anyone hungry for whatever these things are? Yeah. Yeah, there is okay. a dead one. There is a dead one, yeah. Um, Mastella, did you dismiss the vultures that you summoned? Fuck no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, if we want to carry uh, the dead one back, we could probably use them to carry it back. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hey, How long do your vultures last? An I think two hours, uh, one hour. Let me check. I think it's an hour. I might be. What's are we? Crap. Are we going back or yeah, are we going still back. going to? I thought we were going to the the swoop stabs. stabs. See what they're gonna do. <laughs> I wonder if I can send them back. You know, like send them, have them send it back for office and tumble or something. What spell did you use for that? Conjure animals. I'm, getting, I'm pulling it up right now. Let's see. They last for an hour. How You've already far been walk- have you traveled? We've already been walking for like a day and a oh, half. Oh, okay. Then that yeah, probably will Because we work. rested. About a day and a half, two days, yeah. Yeah, okay. Then that's probably not going to work then. I couldn't remember how far we went. Can I use Mage Hand to scratch behind this one's ear? <laughs> and telepathically go, shh. Hush you're, it. You're shushing it as you scratch it behind its ear. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm on, I'm on. I'm still on top of the rock. So yeah. Uh, you, just got a little bit. Are you trying to get us some rides, man? <laughs> I'm, ju- I'm just testing the waters. You know? uh, go ahead and make a an animal handling check when you use your mage hand to scratch it behind its ear. All right. Am I at disadvantage because I'm doing creepy shit inside of its head? <laughs> mm, no. Why is oh, that a question? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Straight roll, then? Just a straight, straight roll. Cool, straight cool, cool. Animal handling roll. All right. It is rolling. Okay. Uh, not too bad. It's just a 14. It looks like it jumps a bit when your mage hand uh, like first touches it. And it, it tries to like look over that shoulder and like the same ear and it um you can see it, it like it looks a little nervous at first it, and then it it's like leans into the mage hand like it's it's enjoying its scritchies oh. I'm going to try to call it over to get closer to me if you're trying to hunger the hu- I'm going to hunger of Hadar this shit. I'm just joking. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm not that fucking herbal. evil. I'm not that fucking evil. <laughs> uh, make another animal handling check if you're trying to get it to come closer to you. Okay. This is my last one. Then then we shall proceed. I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, Stop oh, it was almost a 19. Damn. Uh, okay. Huh. So what, like, how, does, all- how are you trying to call it over? <laughs> I'm, I'm probably just gonna be like, I don't know, try to do the horse. I I can't do it fast, but you know, try to do that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, clicking at it. I no. have an imaginary carrot for you. He's just <laughs> an imaginary carrot. Imaginary yeah. carrot. Yeah. yeah. It just like looks up at you, like it, it's still eating what little uh, vegetations around and gets a drink of water, but it's like, it's constantly keeping its eyes on you and it doesn't seem to, to care about your clicking noises or anything. Cool. All right. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, start walking uh, back and I'm just going to kind of take a detour through the water. Of course. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's my shtick. Come on. You know, yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to try riding one of these things? Uh, I don't know. Maybe get the the more animal inclined ones to do it. Oh, like uh, uh, Iris and Mustella. Uh, probably most most Squeeb. likely Mustella. Squeeb, make a nature check. I can touch it. Yeah, <laughs> I can yeah, touch it. it. Try riding <laughs> one of those things. Nature check. Let's see. Where's my nature? Here? We could ride the vultures for a short bit too, probably. 
Oh, that'd be so Six. cool. What did I get? A six. I get. Okay. Um, yeah, you rolled a natural two. <laughs> these these are clearly <laughs> riding beasts. Like yeah, really, they, they look really big horses. They, they look like we could ride these things. These big horned cows. In fact, Squeeb is like for sure these are some kind of horses. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who ride, ride one of these big furry horses? It looked pretty fun. Uh, doesn't I, spill it? Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Nick, everybody's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be so cool. I would think you're super cool. Ah, uh, hold on. Would someone please pull this arrow out of my back first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, Nick, Nick, how'd you get an arrow on your back? <laughs> I don't oh, know. No. <laughs> Remember any of the goblins shooting arrows at us? It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wake up with those in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll try and sneak up behind uh, the closest one here. See if I can. Oh, wait. I see, I see. Let me <laughs> see. I see the get on its back. <laughs> Before you do it, uh, Nick Nick. You look like you're kind of hurt. Do you, do you want my spider to stitch you up? Can I just pull out my spider and put it on your back? Well, it's also, stop, stop moving. Stop moving. Just let her, let, let her bite you. What? what? Yeah, just let, just let her bite. <laughs> just fucked up, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> just let her sink her things right into you. It, it'll feel good. Trust me. Uh, what is that? Cure wounds. They're dying for Vitaly for real. <laughs> oh my god. Five. Hey, you got five healing. Yeah. <laughs> From my mechanical healing spider. You heal through fear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, all right. Now let me boost you up onto that big buffalo horse. I, 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 I think I, I can do it. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, let me help you. Let me help oh, you. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on now. I'll, I'll sneak up to this one. Okay. And, uh, uh so that's, uh, Dirty 20 for stealth. I think that'll work. <laughs> and I think... Let me just double check here. I think I have easy climbing. Because I'm a rogue. Hey, what are these things called? Features uh, and traits. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the creatures. I thought they were something else, but they're not in here. Are? Armor? Yeah, that's what they're called. Climbing oh, no longer costs me extra movement, and when I make a running jump, the distance you cover uh, increases by four feet. Oh, I will just try my best to climb up this giant beast. <laughs> All right. So you're trying to sneak. You made it over there just fine. You're kind of tiptoeing along through the, the soggy mud here. And you're you're able to get up behind it. Uh, you're trying to climb up its butt or up its side? The side. Okay. So, you you make it over to the uh, the side of it. And you go to climb up. And it, you can feel them do a quick, like, uh, like a start, like a startle. Um, he looks over. Well, with your dirty 20, you're able to kind of move with his butt when he turns around and looks. You, you, you stay by that back leg and it, it shifts around for a second and looks, trying to see what's there. And it, it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't seem to, to care too much. Like maybe you're just a, you know, like a really big bug or something that is uh, climbing around on it. But you're able to start your climb, so you can make a, an athletics check to see if you can climb up him. Athletics. Okay. 
That's a uh, plus zero roll. So this is ah that that is an eight. <laughs> an eight. So it's a yeah. It's a little bit. Uh, it's not too easy to climb him. Like he, every time you 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 try to put your hand up to grab another like chunk of fur on it, it, it starts and like kind of spins around real quick to see if uh to see what's messing with it. And uh, every time it spins around, like I, I imagine Nick Nick's trying to be like still be sneaky and not seen by the thing, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So each time it goes to spin, Nick Nick, you um, let go of it and you try to hang out by its back leg so it can't see you. So you're not too sure how you're going to get onto it from the ground here. How uh, how high up is this creature? Oh, that's a from good the bottom of its leg to the top of its butt. <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> You're having trouble. You sure you don't need some help? I'm trying to find it. Oh. I'm going to turn into that one guy from Texas that got horse kicked in the face <laughs> and changed his entire accent. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you know, I don't know, but since they are a large sized creature, they're probably uh, seven or eight foot. Oh, easily twice as tall as you are. They're pretty damn they're big. big. I'll give it one more try. I want to help push her up. <laughs> okay, if you're trying to do it and um, like still be sneaky. Um, you'll have to make a stealth check too. Okay. I got disadvantage. Uh, let's see. Disadvantage. Did it roll? Oh, there we go. Uh, sixteen. So yeah, oh. you're you're able to to be sneaky. And uh, help her up. So, uh, wow. I think you can do uh, an athletics check again with advantage this time. Okay. I'm like standing on Bok Tok and then pushing on her feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get up there. Get up there, uh, Nick, Nick. Come on. That's, that's even worse. That is a four. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, Nick Nick. Stay on I, my hands. Oh, you're kicking me in the face. Stop. <laughs> I rolled, a, I rolled a natural three and a natural four. Oof. <laughs> yeah, so when you go to uh, get your boost up there, um, Squeeb tries to, to fling your feet up to, uh, to give you a little boost, and your foot slips out, and you slap down in the mud. The Oroch, uh, Orox orcs? I don't know. It says that it's um, uh, singular and plural. So the Orox uh, turns around much quicker than it has so far. Like it's both tired of being messed with by whatever's messing with it. And, uh, it finally caught you. It turns around and it sees two little goblins, uh, messing around right next to it. And it gives a loud snort and, um, it's going to make an attack against you. Okay. Um, dude. Crap, I think you made the horse mad. Nick, Nick. Mm, probably not right away. Uh, um, so 19 to hit you is it just lowers its head and tries to smash you with its head um, yeah, can I use, that can I use, uh, wait can I use uh, Boktok's going to use his uh, reaction to impose disadvantage sure um, Boktok's going to swing swing in front of you okay <laughs> so Boktok Pecks him in the eye as he's uh, trying to headbutt Nick Nick here. Get him, and, Get him. 
the Orox pulls his head back and lets out this. Ooh. I think it takes a a <laughs> Boktok beak in the eyeball. So Nick, Nick, you're safe. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> right away now. So yeah, you you hear um, that that loud moo turns. Let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them left. Um. Two, three. The four uh, closest all whip around and start stomping their hooves and things. Um, Mustella from the the chat here. Um, you had a twenty two. So it it looks like the one that who was that buckle tick was messing with down here. It looked like just from the the short time that you guys were in the area that the the rest of the herd seems to be following what that one is doing. They all look aggressive, or they just turn and look. So those four at, at the top, like watering spot, those ones look like they are uh, about to uh, attack if an, attack anyone that keeps messing with them. You can only do, let's see, speak with animals is only one animal, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's only one animal. <clears throat> oh, does sister need to leave? She yeah. Oh. She said on Discord that the dehydration and the storms rolling in is messing with her. Uh, poor Mel. Uh, one second. Is she on the chat or? She, uh, this is out. in Discord. Did, uh, what, did she go? <laughs> she's muted on Discord. So she, she might be oh, in creepy. the bathroom. Yeah, uh, she's upstairs. Okay, well, Melissa. Oh, she is upstairs. If you can hear us, Melissa, yeah, you absolutely go home and rest like we all told you to i know i'm sorry <laughs> i thought i could hold on but i'm not okay <laughs> i'm sorry no that's all right we got this go home and sleep i'll, I'll give uh james control of iris since he's used to james, i it trust up. you be disgusting. <laughs> be disgusting touch all the butts i believe oh, in you don't don't worry i, I was born disgusting fondle a ball or two <laughs> Punch some balls. We'll, right. we'll, we'll Sorry, see what all in blows. No, all, you're all right. Go get better. It's all good. Go rest. Have yeah, fun. take care. Yep. Be, Be careful. Glizzy or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the best get well ever, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's trying to be hip. He's using Just, the new one. Oh, no, Go. I'm telling James to do that. What the? <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were telling Melissa to get better by you. Just go have a glizzy or whatever. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. No, <laughs> Ew. absolutely not. Jeez. Yeah, unless you go home and have a glizzy. <laughs> go the glizzy cures all. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, this will be a funny edit. <laughs> oh, we're we're not editing anything. It stays. It all stays. All of it, no matter what. <laughs> all right. Uh, so good to know that me saying Glizzy is going to be on the internet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Masella, what are you doing over there? Um, I guess I will use animal communication on. It was this one, right? That they were trying to ride. <laughs> was, it, was it this one, or was it this one? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, I it think was it was the one? top one. Yeah. Mastella will use animal communication on that one then. Okay. And, and what, are you, what are you saying to him? It's okay. It's okay. We are all friends. We are we are nice goblins. Are you? Make a deception check. No, I'm just kidding. Deception? It doesn't know whether we're <laughs> nice goblins or I know why. Hey Nick Nick, do you want me to set that one on fire? Um No! <laughs> No, no fire. Um, <laughs> uh, make a, a nature check to uh, or uh, nature. 
No. Um, animal handling. There we go. Animal handling. I'll get there eventually. Is it? Is it gonna? Is it gonna? There it goes. I think it's taking a long time. Okay. 18. So, I, you talk to the Oryx here, and um, you, I don't know how how are you calming him down? You just talking to him out loud. She's making noises that sound like noises they make, but <laughs> she's actually talking to them. You know, so she's got like. She's got her two hands up and she's kind of doing the like the Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt raptor thing. Yeah. <laughs> and well she's and making she's like, We friends. We're all friends. Nice goblin. Okay. So that one seems to uh, it's not like pawing at the ground and stomping and, and making angry snorts, but it just it bends down to uh to eat some more of the, the like sparse grass and vegetation and it, it's calmed for the moment but it's definitely like keeping its eyes on you guys Mm -hmm. and while you're you're trying to uh like keep it calm and and talk to it you feel a a pull on your badger tail a pull on my badger tail iris is uh currently uh teething on your badger tail just drooling all over it ah ah, gross ew <laughs> that's 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 the best I can do that's, with uh, that's, that's that's perfect Iron. <laughs> it is <laughs> perfect. You're doing her justice. Awesome. She's gonna snatch her tail back. No, not two toy. But but not. Oh, <laughs> this is the perfect iris, and yeah, and the perfect iris. And as, as soon as soon as Mistella looks away, uh, I'm uh, uh, Mistella looks away. Uh, Iris is just gonna look to see if there's anything else hanging off of her that she can just kind of teeth on and drool. <laughs> the straps for uh, apron thing, maybe, maybe, but uh, we'll get to that later on. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, All right, just just to help the game go. Is uh, <laughs> is Shardo doing anything? What are you doing? Just admiring the leaves on the ground. <laughs> Pretty much. Is there anything Shardo would like to do? Yeah, I actually want to see if I can figure out where they came from. Uh, the the big beasties or the goblins? Both. All right. Uh, make a survival check. Well, I guess. How are you looking? I want to just look for tracks. If there's not anything obvious by scanning the horizon. Okay. Yeah. Um. So make a survival check for uh, tracks. See what you can find. Fourteen. All right. Uh, fourteen. Um, it looks like they were like you see a lot of tracks going. Where's my tool at? Uh, is that it? Yeah. So you, you see tracks coming this way, like the goblins let them down through between the rocks here. Um. So it looks like. They all came from the north. You can see the um, the oryx tracks and uh, goblin tracks on the outsides. I'll just post up at this rock. Just okay. watch, make sure nothing else comes down. All right, cool. I'll be sneaky about it. Sure. You're not really hiding behind anything right there. From- I don't need to. Okay. You said you're being <laughs> sneaky about it. So. I don't need to. Fuck <laughs> that. All right. Must all all I-, I can think of is the uh, <laughs> roll and intimidation check from stealth. It's just like, you do not see Gorog. <laughs> 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 all right. Mustella, you're trying to talk to the... Which one? The one that she was already talking to, this one. Okay. What are you asking him? Um, she wants to ask him about the goblins that were with them. Um, he's going to say, those goblins that were with you, were they mean, mean goblins to you? So everybody else can hear, uh, (laughs) and Masala, you take this as, 
um, not nice uh, thing with things. Um, and it, it like imparts a, a mental image and it looks like he's like imparting like the image of like a whip or something. Um, and then at the end of it, it says, um, well, you feel like a, like a mental shrug and it says, but leads to water. Hmm. And she wants to ask, um, which direction did the did you all come from you and your mean gobos mm, it, you don't get a uh like a verbal answer really but it turns its head to the north and looks that way is it very far from here um it, yeah it imparts like long way long way hmm I wonder if I could convince them to let us ride them back up there. Yeah. Oh, um, hey, Andy. Andy. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, since, since we ended up uh, finding out that uh, some of these guys were from the Booyog clan. Mm-hmm. And didn't we hear that the Booyogs are in league with Booyoggle and also that ancient green dragon, Caladraxus, or... Yeah, that, that was all stuff that you guys found out a while back. Okay. Uh, and so, so do I notice Mistella uh, just talking or at least listening to uh, this uh, uh, this one? Yeah, so you can see Mistella doing her, her animal thing. Like, it's not unusual now. By this point, you've been around Mistella long enough that occasionally you see her just wander up and start making weird animal noises at other animals. And also not unusual is this one seems to be responding back to her. Alrighty. Uh, I'll just telepathically uh, ask uh, uh, Mistella and say, uh, do you know, uh, can you ask them if they've uh, seen any flying green lizards, uh, big ones, uh, where they come from? Yeah. yeah. She, she hears this and she wants to ask the big moo about it, if they've seen any. She tries to send like a Oh, uh, she, she doesn't do it telepathically when she talks to him. She's actually talking to him. So she can't send an image, but she wants to describe like a big flying green lizard thing. It's just like a non committal, like, nope. No. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. I haven't seen. Um, any, you will also, um, it tells you where they were from, like that long way that he mentioned. Mm-hmm. wasn't around other goblins it, like the way that he talks about it it's where they're from like where these oryx are from oh so you're saying it's not like a town or something is that what you mean yeah like it describes um you know like a a more open area with better water it says like this is this gross water. It sat there a long time. Mm. Um, she wants to. She wants to ask if. Trying to think of how I want to word it. So they came from a place. It, was it describing like their home or their home with the goblins? Uh, so make make an insight check to see if you can figure out what he what he was getting at. Insight check. Ooh. Yeah. So he was Ooh. he was describing it as where these aurochs are from. Like that's their their wild home. Hmm. And so that was up north too, right? That's yep. what it was saying. That was somewhere up to the north. So. Mustella is going to say, hmm, would you be willing to let myself and our goblin friends here ride all of you back to your home and we punish bad goblins for treating you badly? Um, we would travel much faster with you 
and you're heard. He sounds confused. Like, um, he talks about the dead goblins and says they're already punished. That was all the goblins? Uh, it's like an affirmative answer. Would you like us to just take you home then and you help us get there faster? And we can protect you from any other bad goblins that we may come across. Mm, it's... He it gives back uh, the answer of if you want, you can, but like he, he thinks they'll be fine with as many of them as there are. Mm, I see. So, but, but he's okay with us <laughs> riding them, though. He doesn't seem thrilled about it, but you could try to make a persuasion check if you want. Persuasion check. <laughs> Oh, that's not as good. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, he looks back to this one here. Whoops. I'm going to switch to this one here that you, you kind of figured out was the alpha. Mm -hmm. And moves something back to that one. It moves in response. And he's, he says, no. Not, <laughs> not allow. Not allow. Hmm. <laughs> one way or another we're gonna ride you we're gonna get you get you get you get you <laughs> oh boy well if we don't want to attempt that anymore I could have the vultures carry can the vultures carry one or two of us and they're <clears throat> they look for, like they're the same size as those things like for an hour yeah for an hour they could probably carry well, one at each foot and then a couple on the back. Sweet. <laughs> I mean, you're, vultures. You guys are all like three Ooh, foot boy. tall. Yeah. yeah. Can we do that? Can we ride the vultures? They're friendly to us and they love us and we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. If, Everybody wants to try to ride the vultures, you can, but everybody's, you know, got to agree to it. I call cop! I call cop! One ride vulture up north? She points up north. Yeah! Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Buckle Tick will uh, come around and say if if we fly and you know if they feel like they're not going to be here much longer tell them to aim for the water or something <laughs> well Mustella being the spellcaster would have a decent idea as to like when the their her conjuration would be going away. Yes, we'll just, I'll just tell them to land right before the spell ends. It'll just give us some, you know, traveling distance, and maybe we'll see something. I don't know from up higher. Wait, do you th uh, do you think one Where of them will be these vultures go all the way to the scene of the crash? <laughs> do Do you think that uh one of these would be able to carry Boktok? Okay. Yeah, I, so I think Boktok is medium. So yeah. it it might take like one vulture using both uh talons to to carry Boktok and and squeeb, okay. but could still do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll ride the back of the oh. vulture that's uh carrying uh squeeb and Boktok and uh and I'll have uh uh Iris will be the one uh riding bitch with uh, Mistella. <laughs> 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 I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> I haven't heard that in like I don't even know. Very and, and, and also, as 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 we uh, start flying, uh, Iris will uh, vigorously smell 
uh, Mustella because that wind's wafting <laughs> your scent into her nose glands. So she's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no plan. All right, so and, and, also, and also, Wiggy Bobos is gonna get tucked into the front of the shirt, so just to secure <laughs> Wiggy Bobos. Oh, right. yeah, oh. Rat face poking out. You don't want to yep. be the Can't responsible for for killing Iris' <laughs> rat while she's gone. <laughs> I, I just, I just don't want her to go blind again. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I can actually shrink myself down to a, a rat size, give us more room. Yeah. Wait, Boktok's belly is like a barrel. Can't you uh, can't you squeeze one of us in? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, well, well, like, there's probably like mechanical stuff in there, so it's like, oh, if you want to get you know uh, shredded up into like uh, engine oil, sure. I, I'd leave that up to <laughs> to uh, Garen. Like, is there is Boktok's barrel empty, or is there a bunch of mechanical parts and stuff in there? Because he, he's a Boktok is a, a contraption of like both engineering and magic. So. Magic. You yeah, wouldn't need okay. the full total like clockwork mechanics and stuff in there to make it work. Yeah, like the tro- I, Trojan horse thing. Yeah, I think it's oh, kind of arse and uh, but like half assed. Like it's probably half weird gears and mechanics and and I think there's some space in there. Yeah, that for story like, hide for story like, stuff. Like hide the the mess of like cables and wires and shit behind where you can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I mean, you guys could, uh, hide the rats in the, the Boktok barrel or something if you wanted. That's up to you oh guys. Oh my God. Um, so do me a favor and actually is Shardo okay with, with, uh, riding on a vulture? Probably not, but I will be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It'd be fun. Fun time. So you guys go ahead and, and move your tokens to whichever vulture you're riding. We'll see. I got a question real quick. Yeah. Can you figure out what my favorite terrain is? You should know this. I'm wanting to say it's under dark, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, you like you want me to look at your character? Yeah. Yeah, one sec. I think that's under class features. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think it's under I bet it's under dark. That's where I'm at, but I, I, I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, give me a sec, I'll look. Uh, Did he write down the skies, does it? So, yeah. <laughs> if we run into any dragons and wyverns. <laughs> He's trying to... Uh, All the air. Let's see, where are you? Shardo. <laughs> Features and traits. Hey, there's your favorite foe. Umbral sight, extra attack, expertise, attack, keeps can, dark vision, sharp shooter. Yeah. I want to know for the primeval awareness. Um, oh, see, it's next time you spend one ranger spell slot. Since whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of you. Um, or six miles in your favorite terrain. So, yeah, if you don't have it selected, um, you might have to go into the editor and find that spot and see if there's anything there. Because I'm going to guess that you just didn't select anything. There is an FRE. I've been inherited for the past 10 minutes. In the editor? Yep. Either way, I want to proc that spell before I go flying with a damn dragon in the area. <laughs> All right. Huh. Where is your favorite terrain, actually? Favorite foe replaces favorite enemy. Uh, Ranger archetype. Bloom stalker. Is it something that got removed? Uh, favorite enemy. Yep, you're right. It is something I changed out. It's what? It is something I changed out. Oh, what did it get swapped with? Uh, Deft Explorer. Ah, all right. 
So you also do that. So you don't. I still want to do that for one mile. Uh, places the natural explorer feature. Okay. So you fire off your primeval awareness. And I gotta read that again. Uh, let's see. Action, spend one ranger spell. There's some region around you. So, uh, let's see. Whether the following creatures are present. Uh, it's aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. So, it procs undead. Which way? Uh, one second. It doesn't reveal the creature's location or number. Okay. Um, it procs undead and undead aberrations, and that's it. Okay. I'm actually, well, I this is this is interesting because you haven't used that. So, uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, it's not true. I tried to track down a unicorn with it. Yeah, I mean, you don't use it often, so and it's kind of interesting that you, you're you using it, so I'm going to add some to it. So roll an insight check to see if you can figure out any other info there. 19. 19? The aberration one hits hard. Like, um, much stronger. Like, the undead is kind of like a faint little, like, ping almost, but the sense of aberrations hits hard and the 19 it hits hard like underground like you you sense it's a fair ways underground but there's there's a strong presence of aberrations down there mm. oh boy mm. no dragons though not in a mile radius anyway mm. that's <laughs> unnerving the nerfing, but you don't know about it because I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, if if I see six getting near the vulture, I'll be like, "What? One second. And I'm going to grab this, whatever it's called, just a random mysterious cloak and lay it down just to, just to see if that would uh, stop her from, you know, jabbing the shit out of the vulture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, I mean, she's used to wearing her her stabby stabby armor so yeah. uh you know what we'll, we'll go ahead and show a picture of sticks so everyone knows what we're talking about real quick like uh sticks is a battle rager goblin and wears this nasty looking armor again all this art is done by melissa um, yeah so yeah uh sticks is she's very used to wearing it and she knows how to hurt with it and how to you know, avoid injuring things around her. So when she climbs up there, she takes whatever. Would you have a cloak or something? Uh, yeah, it was a random cloak that I, I think it was the I think it was the one that I was wearing before I uh, switched over uh, switched over to a uh, cloak of protection. Yeah. So, yeah. so she was like, hey, hey, thanks. That's a good idea. And she wraps it around her <laughs> armor and uh, plops down on top of the uh, the vulture. And she looks over at uh, Mastella and she says, um, how do we, uh, how do we ride these things? No, I do. Can you say that again? And she approves of uh, them trying to be careful about not harming the vulture. Oh, yes. She appreciates. Yep, Sticks at least tries. I don't know about Shardo and the rest of them, but. <laughs> All right, so you guys have got your, your vultures figured out and you ready to go? Yep. Um, Shardo, was there anything else you're doing with your primeval awareness thing or wanting to know about or anything? <clears throat> yeah, I want to hit it again, probably. I want to get close to that mile mark. Okay. So everybody's good to take off? Go, go, I'm go, ready. Go. I'm going to rat up a uh, small rat and I'm going to go into Mastella's bag. <laughs> Save room. <laughs> I and, can do that for one hour. And Iris is just gonna whiff. 
and just oh. hold t- and there's just hold on tight to Mistella. Oh god. <laughs> Actually, let me see if I can uh make a new this is a nick nick. Uh Radnick. It wasn't the word we wanted to go, right? Just to make sure I got that everybody wanted to go north, yeah. So north We're going is, to the steps. North is where the Aurochs came from, and like where the, the goblin prince and the Auroch prince were from. But you remember Styx saying that the swift stabs were to the west. Okay, like you guys so maybe we want to go west then. Is there any reason why we want to go? Does anybody want to go up for any reason? Can't figure out any reason to. Yeah. Okay, then I say we go in the direction of the swift stab. Going west instead? Yes. Yes. Hey, hey Andy. Yeah. <laughs> If we start flying over, uh, let's just say familiar territory, I'm just going to kind of glare at it. If if we fly over any familiar territory, if you know, if you catch my drift, uh, I don't. <laughs> the part of the backstory, <laughs> the part of oh oh I, yours, yeah, I think yeah, you're you're still yeah. a fair bit away from it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I was just going to say, if we start flying over it, I'm just going to start launching eldritch blasts as we drive by it's like yeah <laughs> let's just see how this goes I don't know. Arm by eldritch blast. I'll fly by my bad fly by. I, I like the, really i like the drive by eldritch blast <laughs> <laughs> sorry no it's fine i just took a second to to realize what you were talking yeah. about there um i'm making all right just a second i'm making nick nick's token finally uh that right so we're leaving the horses then Uh, no need. No need. Well, Mistella, what'd the horses say? They say anything cool? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they go, they from north. She points up. No big info. No big info. All right. No big info. And they they kind of seem grumpy anyway. <laughs> uh, see. One second. Sorry. Uh, I should be able to do this pretty quick. Tokens. Actually, if you're going to be a minute, I'm going to go pee. Oh, uh, you can go. It won't take me too long, though. I just had to find where I put the token. I'll be right back. Did it go? Did it go? Where did it go? Is it gonna upload first? I think it should have already been in. Oh, it was. I just didn't scroll down far enough. There we go. Save. Uh, Nick, Nick. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. So Nick Nick or Matthew, you should have in just a second here, I'll give you control of this new token. And if I've didn't done it right here, you should have uh the ability to switch back and forth into a rat. Ooh. Uh you I ha- see Go ahead. Two Nick Nicks. Yep. The bottom one. Um Everyone, there you go. You'll have to uh, change the uh, health to get the bar to show up. Um, uh, and then you're going to right click. And you'll see a um, button at the bottom that says multi sided. Uh huh. Choose sides and then take that slider and go all the way to the right. Multi sided. Choose sides. And boop. choose. Ah, yep. I am a rat. Perfect. <laughs> so you can do that. I will know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, do me a favor though and uh, edit your uh, 
your health in there so uh, the health bar will show up my rat health or my health uh just yours yeah we'll keep track of the rat health separate this is for like this one will uh do the health for the your whole token gotcha So that is 43, and that one is 54. And Andy, uh, while we're flying, um, can Squee work on his giant toenail shield snail flail flail, flail snail? <laughs> Addition, <laughs> you're, you're trying to to um, affix part of the flail snail to the shield, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you keeping track of your successes and things? I have them somewhere. I don't have them with me, so. <laughs> I think I think you have like, I couldn't remember if you had like one of each or. Yeah, that sounds it, right. It, I think it, I, think I, one, I think I had one. I think I had one. One success, one fail, I think. I thought I had it. I have it written somewhere. I just can't find it. I wrote my notes on a bunch of different things. So I just got to go through all my stuff and find it. Um, I have successes for... Yeah. All right. I, I got you. You're at two successes and one fail. Okay. Um. So, Squeeb... Well, none of you guys have ever been flying before. You've never ridden on a giant vulture before. So you can try to work on this while you're flying, but I'm going to make you do the, the check at disadvantage to work and tinker around on this thing while you're trying to hold on and not fall off of this you know, giant flying bird. <laughs> and, Squeeb's oh going to take rope and tie himself to Boktok's barrel. Okay. Strap his legs down. Still gonna still gonna be a disadvantage trying to work on. Oh your yeah, shield. I totally understand. But I'm just being. He's inventive and he's like, oh, I might fall off. I'm gonna be working on the hands. I'll be able to hold on. Like, yeah. So he's gonna strap himself down, even though it still gives him disadvantage. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and you guys are all ready to to take off and fly to the west. Yeah, I think right. Everybody's good. Yep. Yeah, we're all okay. good. Yeah. So. With, a couple like large, um, big like thumping beats of their wings. The vultures are not the, not the most agile or you know like nice and steady birds. They get going and they uh, they struggle with the the newfound weight for a quick second before they they're used to it. But they eventually take off. Uh, it doesn't take too long for them to fly a mile. So uh, as you're soaring over the swamps, you guys were already like. Um, getting close to the edge of the swamps, um, Shardo, you you can tell that you're you're coming up on the mile like fairly quickly. If you wanted to ping your uh, primeval awareness again, yeah, okay. So it's a pretty much the same thing. Like you get like a faint hint of like undead, um, and then uh, uh, another blast of the abjuration or abjuration uh, aberration. Uh, energy. So you know that there's still a, a fairly strong presence of aberration energy. Does it feel like um we're closing in closer to that, or is it just the same strength? Um, it's actually probably lower since you're higher up in the air. Yeah, you know, right. you're further away from it. So not as strong, but you can still tell it's around. Mm. And um, not much. Further uh, past that point, uh, well, like, you know, less than a mile away. Definitely long before the uh, the vultures would um, run out of their their summoning time. Um, you guys can see like the pretty much the edge of the swamp. Um, you can see where it's you're, you can see more green. You can see for the first time in quite a while the signs of like vegetation on the trees. Um, <clears throat> and you can see what looks like a little camp down below. Um, 
you're not sure exactly what all is there, but you can see like a, what looks like a clearing and a camp and maybe some kind of path or road leading right up to the swamp. Mm. It's a very small thing. Smallish, yeah. Is that mm. the swift stabs? Hey, Sticks, is that the swift stabs? Um, she like puts her, her hand up like over her eyes and, and tries to shield from the sun and she's looking down. Just, no, don't think so. Like she's trying to, to yell over the, the breeze. The, <laughs> not breeze, the wind uh going by. <laughs> A gentle um, breeze. And everybody that's sitting like on the back of these, maybe not so much as like underneath, but on the back of these vultures, the, the smell of you know, like just dead things maybe that's uh, like plastered onto their feathers or something it's, <laughs> it, it smells pretty nasty up here and you're just constantly getting hit in the face with the smell as they're they're flying through the air um Except for iris she's constantly smelling mistella yeah uh, she smells sorry. Like badger. <laughs> um mistella's used to stinky things but yeah sticks yeah, is Squeeb's, go ahead squeebs used to it, it smells like bok talk yeah <laughs> I mean, Squee was used to living with Bok Talk in a small barn. Um, so yeah, Sticks, she's still shielding her eyes and looking down, and she's yelling over the wind. She says, "No, not Swift Stabs. I don't see a tortoise." Uh, and she's squinting some more, and she says, it "Just looks like a, a small camp, crates, uh, cages, maybe cages." Does it look like hmm. there's animals in the cages? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, Do we see any can make figures? perception checks for at a disadvantage from up high. Can I do one to see if there's any humanoids, uh, any figures down there by the cages? Or It'd be this, the same thing, yeah. Just perception Disab- at disadvantage. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, where is it? Well, I got an 18 at disadvantage. Nice. That's pretty damn good. How uh, come I didn't roll up on there? Huh. Oh. Mm, mine's not good. See. Oh, well. Yeah, I just had a three, so not much. Okay. So Squeeb. Squeeb, you can with your little no, don't doesn't Squeeb have a monocle or something? Yeah. That's my special, <laughs> special monocle. Yeah, your special monocle, <laughs> uh well, that's a nickname. I was looking at it. Uh, it's Squeeb. magical too. Helps me identify things. Yeah, there's your monocle. Well, your your magical identifier has a a two X zoom on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can you can squint down through it, and you can see. Um, uh, well, shit. What, which I forgot who was trying to look at what here. What were you uh, trying was, to pick out specifically? I was, trying, I was just trying to see what's in the cages. So the cages. Um, there, there looks like one big long cage uh, on some kind of, I don't know, maybe like a wagon or a cart. And then it looks like a, a smaller cage next to a tent. Um, you don't think there's anything in it, but you're you're pretty high up and you're not completely sure if there's anything in those cages yet or not. Mastella, I think there's animals in the cages. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? She's like trying to see, but I guess she doesn't see anything, does she? No, no. Well, to you, you can see. To uh, who was that? Mustella and um, uh, mine was Buckleton. bad, bad yeah. girl. So I, yeah, you guys yeah. can't see specifics, but you can pretty easily see a clearing and um, like maybe some kind of structures of some sort down there. We go look. Hmm. Go look. Go look. She's looking at everybody. We go look. She sounds very urgent. <laughs> we can do a flyby. Let's get lower. Flyby. She wants to instruct her vultures yeah, be- to get closer. Before we do that, can I do my uh, crafting check? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll- go ahead. Okay, cool. All right. Oh. oh, that's nice. I got a net. Oh, that stinks. I got disadvantage. I rolled a natural 20. Oh. And. <gasps> And then my next roll was 19. So I, uh, so oh! I a, so I got a 27. <gasps> nice. Damn. That's a success. Nice. Rockin', man. That is a success. Rock. Yeah, I guess when I roll at disadvantage, it doesn't pop up on the on this 
on the side for everybody for some reason. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not sending uh, your results over at the moment. Yeah, uh, I think it will do it if I do it at at normal. Let me try it. I'm going to do a test. Let me see. So this is uh, Shardo, Iris, Mastella, and the rat. <laughs> Yeah, I won't do it if I do it, uh, a a disadvantage roll. But it will. So mm. I'll just main, I'll just uh, roll twice next time. That's what I was doing. Instead of right clicking. And do yeah, it. it acts goofy when I do the right clicking thing for whatever reason. Okay, so you have. Should I drop things? All right, you have another success. You need one more to finish your uh, your shield here. So I said you needed needed more than normal because this is a little bit extra. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy thing. Working with something you're not used to, and yeah. All right. So, um, what are you guys doing? Did you decide to uh, land? Sorry. We want to go closer, not necessarily land yet, but try to see better. Do a flyby. Yeah. Or flyby. <laughs> So, you guys um, get a little bit lower. You you urge the uh, the giant vultures down, Mastella, and getting a little little closer down. You can make out what appears like a little incline, like from the edge of the swamp, uh, and up the uh, the little tiny. It's it's not very high. It's maybe like a a five or ten foot change in, in elevation. Um, you can clearly see a road that leads down um, to the swamp. And on on the side of the road, uh, the north side of the road, uh, you can see um, what looks like two tents and some kind of wagon, some little, look at camp area. Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> wagon. Wagon. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um. And yeah, you can you can see just like a, a camp area. Um, it looks like maybe they've been there a little bit. Um, the south side of the road, you see a, a fairly large rock and, uh, and a small campfire uh, by that rock. Um, and you can see now um, you can do another perception check, just a straight one just being lower to the ground. All of us or yeah, whoever wants to. I'll see okay. if there's any humanoids nearby. Uh, where the hell's my... There it is. Sorry. Straight roll. Oh. I do not have the good perceptions right now. Uh, my monocle's fogging up. <laughs> I, I, I just had 13, so nothing, nothing okay. crazy. Shardo, uh, you can see three figures on the north side of the road. <clears throat> um, you can see one specifically, like, uh, it was walking and it, it stops. And it, it looks around for a second and it, it appears to notice the gigantic shadows on the ground, <laughs> the, the giant vultures. You can see this one shield its eyes and uh, it looks like maybe it gets the attention of the other two and it points uh, skyward towards you guys. Okay. <laughs> The rest Gonna of you don't see shit. That? <laughs> Must tell let's see. Are animals? Anyone see? Any animals? He's going to start calling out to everybody. Yeah, I said there was animals in the cages. What animal? Where? In the cages. <laughs> she still can't see anything, so she just looks confused. <laughs> Hey, B-Tick, should we light it up? <laughs> I don't really see anybody to light up. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. I can't see anything either. My monocle's all fuzzy. Was Sharto able to tell what they, what they were? Like, were they goblins, humans, what they were exactly? Mm, 25. Sharto, you know that there are more human-ish than goblin. Like, they look taller. Whether he shares that information or not, it's up to him. But yeah, <laughs> anybody see any any people or goblins? 
Nope. <laughs> oh. Heard like a rat inside my soul's bag, so I don't see anything. Let's land. Okay, man. Uh, Let's sorry. land. Shardo wants to land. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Mustola will have the vultures land then without hurting anyone. Carefully, gently. Okay. Where are, you, where are you landing? Like towards um, the, the edge of the swamp? Or. Is there a map <clears throat> for this? No, oh, there is as soon as you tell me where you're landing. Well, it's hard to tell if I can't see where I'm landing. So the I guess at the what the east side is <clears throat> of the map will be where the the swamp ends. Oh, in a second, I had to clear my throat. So, what's the ground look like again? We're at the edge of the go. swamp. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I the think east side of the map will be the edge of the swamp. Okay. Estella, tell him to drop me off on the biggest cage. <laughs> um. Okay. Is he going to crush the cage? Does it no. appear as if he would no, crush Bok the cage? No, only medium. He's he's. Oh, heavy. okay. Then yeah, we we do we do that. She'll have the vulture drop him off on the cage. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Where is the other vulture going to go? Um. So, how far is the cage from the edge of the swamp? Um, about seventy feet. That's like a fair bit. Of, um. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to land right in the middle of everything with <laughs> with any with height cream? or cover above? Yeah, is there like them? it's hard to say when I can't see anything. Just show us the damn map already. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where um, you're landing. So, uh, what were you asking, Shardo? Is there any like high spots cover? Better vantage points. There's the large rock uh, on the south side of the road, or south of the road. Um, it, you're not sure exactly how tall from you know, like from the the back of the vulture, but it, decently tall rock or boulder. Um, other than that, the the only other height would be like the wagons, or there's trees. I guess we'll have Shart is on my vulture, I think. I yeah. guess wherever there seems to be some kind of cover, we'll have that that vulture go there, whatever that is, whether it's the rock or the tree, there's, whatever looks best. There's rocks. There are the rock. Then there's trees that kind of line the uh the hill that it's on. <clears throat> like the edge of the hill. Rock looks fine to me. I'll point to the rock. Okay. Probably a pebble because I can't see the map. I know. I'm like, I don't know where to. F how do I know where to f if I can't see anything? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's fine. There we go. Uh, uh, oh, okay. hello. <laughs> hello. Ooh. Hello there. <laughs> so we landed no. where there's some kind of dude. I think. Let me see. So when you guys go to land on the cage, um, you see the one that was pointing skyward uh, takes off and ducks behind these crates here. Um, let's see this guy. Second. Oops. Spelling. What are these dudes? Mm. Would you say that we noticed once we landed that there were people here? Oh yeah, they're they were like out in the open. I would wave and my eyes would super wall eye even more. <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> you like wall eye into the back of your head and then come back <laughs> to, the, to the center. Yep. Like Pretty much. <laughs> I wanna oh, animate yeah. that. All cross eye okay. to regular eye. <laughs> Seems like a loading screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be an awesome loading icon. <laughs> so yeah, when you guys land on this this here, uh, you see this one um, 
the one that was closest to the wagon ducks over behind these crates. Um, you can see it is whoop, notes. Where are they? Make sure. Where are they? Yeah, I turned to uh, find uh, uh, Squeeb's successes. All right, so you see. Um, hey, sh it's rain, silly. <laughs> She's she growling at the rain. Um, a red skinned uh, tiefling uh, female dive behind the crates is what she looks like there. Um, and she pulls a, a bow off her back and knocks an arrow. Doesn't fire it yet. Um, the uh, back here uh, in the, the northernmost part of the the camp. You see a a pale uh, elven looking man. Um, when he sees the tiefling knock an arrow, uh, he pulls a spike chain off his belt and lets it hit the ground. Uh, like mm. the, the business end of it hit the ground. Um, oh, and then down here, you see an orc um, covered in armor. Um, oh he has a massive sword strapped to his back. Um, but he just, he kind of wanders up and puts his hands on his hips and puts one hand up towards the, uh, the two behind him as like a, a hold movement. Mm. Um, South team, uh, <laughs> Shardo gets dropped on a rock. Um, uh, I don't know. Iris sniffs Mistella's hair some more. <laughs> As she does. Um, <laughs> Mustella, what are you having them do? The vultures? Yep. Uh, how much? Do you know how much time they have left? Um, probably not. Are they all, they're all used, are they all used up? It, they're, they're getting close to being used up, yeah. Um, for the moment, she's just going to stay sitting on the vulture with Precious. Until she can tell what's going on. <clears throat> oh. All right. So you're staying on the vulture. What's um what's Iris gonna do? Iris and Nick Nick. Uh my little rat nose just gonna peek out of Mistella's bag. <laughs> okay. So you can see that you're like kind of uh resting on top of this large boulder. Um you can tell you're about ten feet up off the ground. Well, from the boulder anyway. Um and you guys, when you go to touch down here, you see like a, a small form, uh, like panic and do some weird little like panicky dance, and um, disappears underneath this little awning thing that was on next to the rock. Looks like some kind of lean to or something, maybe. Oh, Oops. like a creature, like an animal, or a humanoid oh. thing? A uh, creature. Oh, humanoid creature. I don't know. It, something. Like he sees you guys and then, then dives under. It's a biped. Oh. Did did the orc guy just disappear? Down here? Huh. That's real weird. Yeah. He dove under the thing. Oh, I thought you meant something else did. Something besides him. No, no. Okay, okay. It's a Got it's it. a small form. Like he looks similar in size to you guys. Oh, okay. I was very confused when you said small. I assumed it was something else because I thought that guy was huge. This one? Oh, it's because the token isn't the same size as your guys. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> it's the right size now. All right. What are you guys doing? Um, who goes first? Who goes first? Well, you're not in well, combat. Do you just want? Do you just want to murder, or do you want some charisma to start? Oh, we usually maybe talk. to see. Yeah, maybe to see who they are first. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, we have sure. arrived. I shout. We have arrived. I'm Squeeb <laughs> of the Mudbots. And I, <laughs> I show my tattered uh, 
flag that's totally messed up. That's the two, attached to butt. The two butt cheeks. Yeah. The mud butt uh, tribe symbol is uh, two brown butt print cheeks on a like a canvas flag. Yeah, and the flag's attached to the back of Boktak. Uh, so the the one that kind of at first glance so far seems to be the leader. Whoops, that is the wrong arrow. There it goes. Walks up and says, uh, "A mud butt." Yes, the greatest goblin city there is. He turns around, growing and ever more every day. <laughs> he turns every around, and day. looks at the is a. Uh, his fellows back there, he says, you not ever heard of any mud butt goblins? And they both just shake their head no. Well, that's because we're from far away. <laughs> he shrugs in his, his huge armor and says, never heard of you. Why are you here? Well, well who are you? I've never heard of you. <laughs> Takes one big like armored, uh, armored fist, like gauntlet, and he Thumps himself on the chest. He says, Grolig. Grolig half snout. I look at, I look at uh, B-Tick. Have you heard of Grolig half snout? Have I heard of <laughs> Grolig half snout? <laughs> yeah. He's supposed to be something big, I think. No, I was asking Andy if I need to roll for him. <laughs> never heard of Grolig half snout before, no. I'm just going to say never heard of you in his head. <laughs> He smirks. Like there's a brief second of confusion, like just quick, and he smirks and he looks back. It doesn't know who did it, but he says, uh, "Neat trick." What do you want? Hey, it's okay if we haven't heard of each other. You know, I mean, it's a big <laughs> place. You don't have to hear of everybody. It doesn't make you cooler. <laughs> he looks very unamused. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear the the T flings is should I shoot him, boss? Just, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. He just laughs. He says, "No, not yet. Let's wait and see what they want." We so, couldn't help but notice your inventory from above. He says I, before that. First, he oh, says, um, "Besides, I'm curious." Uh, the big birds they carry. He, he's looking at the vultures with this big, you know, tusky grin. Can was still, is she like here? No, she's probably too far away to hear this. Um, you're, you're catching bits of it, but it's still a fair decent ways away to, to get the whole idea here. Is he uh, getting at that he wants to eat the birds? Uh, give me just a... No, inside check, maybe. Inside. Inside. Where Actually, is no, it? you know what? Never mind. Because you're so far away, you're not, you're not getting the whole conversation here. So, but I rolled a 19. That was <laughs> 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 Okay. You're, you're a little bit far away to be able to understand the whole thing going on here. Okay. I can squeeze a kind of look underneath Bok Talk and look under, look at the cage we're standing on. What's what's below us? So can it's, see what's... it's a thick barred, like thick iron cage here, and it looks like surprisingly sturdy, well made. <clears throat> There's like a a little bit of hay on there, and you can see some some staining from <clears throat> whatever's been in there, but there's not currently any animal in the cage. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> some, some pigeon shit stains. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <well>, fard. <laughs> hey, what do we say to these guys? Uh, I'm going to ask them, do you know of the H- Tulur Horde? Uh, of course. Anybody on Blightshore should know them. 
What would you say, do you have any affiliation with them? Not so much, no. <laughs> well, we're part of the Tillower Horde. We're, we're affiliated with them. <laughs> you did shrugs? Good for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's good. Hmm. How do we take care of this? Mm. This is probably to devolve just into violence very super quick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, and kind we of could ask them if they... Oh, what? As part of like the, your guys' little dick measuring contest that you've got going on <laughs> here, he says, well, what about you? Have you heard of the Cerberus Assembly? Oh, Have we shit. heard of the Cerberus <laughs> Assembly? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone will have to roll... Uh, a history check to see what you history. guys history yeah Break to roll. see what you goblins um, oh really that's sure good know. but no I don't good yeah. night time yet <laughs> no it's not <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that um, did, I, did everybody else roll yeah, I don't know I, if everybody. I, I, I rolled. I rolled a three, so I don't know shit. You I got an eight. I rolled a four. Oh shit! I have, uh, I've never heard of the circus bus assembly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the circus bus assembly? Uh, what is it? A dog walking park or what? Uh, <laughs> that was Buckle Tick, uh, Squeeb, and I, I rolled a four. <laughs> Buckle Tick, Squeeb, Nick, Nick. Um, Mustella, once again, you're you're a little far away. <laughs> you told me to roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that's. Oh, why? Are you, oh yeah, I had a nick nick. Why? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's Boy. supposed to be there. Where? Oh, nick nick's oh, got two icons. <laughs> nick nick's got a rat icon, and then nick nick's got a nick nick icon. Oh, where is <laughs> oh, yep, that's my bad. Sorry, I just forgot to delete it when I grabbed all the other tokens. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, um, assault team uh, over there with um, uh, Squeeb and Buckle Tick and Sticks. Uh, um, yeah, you know what, Sassy Jacob, <laughs> <laughs> going to throw you off a cliff. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. <laughs> let's see, <laughs> Sticks with a natural twenty. You got it. Wow. She says, yeah. She's super wow. helpful. She says, um, Dix is so helpful. She should roll more often. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I she earned that silver coin we gave her. <laughs> she says, those, those guys are they're kind of a big deal. What are you guys doing out here? And uh, Grawlog says, <laughs> He just laughs. And he, he says, uh, You first. Why are you here? Oh, we want to do. Uh, we saw your goods out, and we. You want to do some trading? Not traders. We hunt things. We no, we don't have an what inventory to? to trade. Um, oh well, we we saw these big cages, and we thought we'd come check them out. Well, we're waiting. <laughs> waiting for what? Our other member, uh, Ragnan. He's out hunting. Oh, what are you guys hunting? (laughs) Anything different. Cerberus Assemblies, uh, they've sent us out here to track, um, well, how do you say, mutations? Mutations? uh, See what havoc the calamity is wrought that still um, affects the, the creatures in the area. Have you mm-hmm. found anything? Sure. Ooh, ooh I want to see. Can, can you show us? Well, no, we've already turned it in. No. He, he points to the cage that you're on and he points to the one behind him. Do you see anything in there? Uh, no. Because we haven't caught anything yet. Well, crap, you let us down. Like, we flew down here to try to see something cool, and now there's nothing here. <laughs> the tiefling lady says, <laughs> get back on your bird and fly away, then. 
Well, crap. We might just do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, what is a uh, B team doing down here on their boulder? Uh, Mustela's looking around like, where animal? I don't animal. Where? And she's like looking around. <laughs> does she see? <laughs> does she see that the cage is empty over there from where she's at, or is she too far? So, I mean. From here, it doesn't look like there's anything in the cages, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. The only, you know, like something that might be an animal that you saw, but you're pretty sure it was walking around on two feet, was the one below the the boulder here. It it dove under what kind of looks like a lean to. Okay, um, I'm not sure like how big this rock is exactly. Is this something she could like? step down on the rock and step on the lean-to, or is the lean-to like completely collapse if she stands on it? No, you can try to do that. It, the rock's about 10 foot up. 10 foot. Ten. I just combined up and high. <laughs> it's 10 foot up. Up, 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 up. up. <laughs> so, she'd be able to do that, like stand on this lean-to thing here? Uh, are you doing it? Are you trying it? I don't know, I'm debating. How sturdy does it look? Does it look like it'd hold her weight? Yeah, it looks like a lean to. <laughs> it sticks. It sticks in in um, sticks and shitty pine needles and leaves. <laughs> shitty pine needles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want it to collapse on me on me or not. Um I guess she'll climb down the rock and like peek around in there and be like, you have an animal? <laughs> Mustela, I'm sorry. There's, there's no animal. <laughs> what? No, no animal. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh. Is that Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse the, the, the not here. The episode that Melissa <laughs> home before anything happens. And this is the thanks we get. Damn it. You better have a twin. Un unintentional Mickey Mouse, but I'm still. Uh, oh my yeah. God. That's too good. Why am I here? No, go, go away. <laughs> oh my god oh, it was so it. unexpected uh, uh, I can't remember what I was doing now um, it, it wasn't trying to be with you but you know, it just evolved into it she's so just gonna it. kind of <laughs> I guess she's gonna kind of sniff like sniff around like she's smelling like just see if he's lying like is there something in there with him uh, but there's nothing in there no make a, a perception check to see perception can I join that sniff check? <laughs> <laughs> With his little mouse nose. As a separate, since you can't really assist on uh, a sniff check. <laughs> but I have advantage on sniff checks. <laughs> <gasps> oh yeah, the rat. In my rat form. Um, so 16, then what do you got? Um, uh, 17. 17? You guys yeah. both pretty much smell the same smell. It just smells like some, like, uh, probably like a, just a, well, pretty similar to a dirty unwashed goblin. But <laughs> there's something different about it that's not, not quite goblin. She's gonna look at him kind of weirdly. You, you gobble? No, not gobble. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you have animal in cage? No! Hmm. She's gonna look kind of pouty. You can see a head poke out from under the hay in the very back of the uh, um, little lean-to thing. And it, it looks like something that's about your size. It's um like gray skinned, uh small. It looks it's kind of like a gnome, but any of the gnomes that Mustel has seen haven't been gray skinned. Yeah, what is this guy? He looks pretty much like a gnome. Huh? He's a weird looking gnome. 
Uh, I guess she's just going to look confused and get back on the vulture. <clears throat> Good, go! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, leave Memon alone. <laughs> Menon, is that what you said? Mebin. Mebin. I want to write it down. <laughs> By Mebin. Mebin. Not Menon. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you know that, though. Small. He's like a some strange gnome guy. Yeah, it rolled, sounds, rolled maybe a history. like a mouse. <laughs> Can I use my other history? Your other history? Yeah, I rolled history when you told us all to roll history. Oh, and I got no. an 18. No, you can roll a new one. I guess history would be the right one. It's not good. Yeah, you, you don't know. I mean, the chances not were pretty good. slim that you'd know anyway. It's just more, <laughs> more of like a in passing <clears throat> thing, like maybe in one of the towns you used to scavenge in or something. But hmm, okay, yeah, you don't know. Mebin. Do I know Mebin? <laughs> <laughs> Mebin the mouse. You didn't see Mebin. Yeah, that's true. It was Mustella is peeking down into the the wing to there, so he's still underneath. The overhang. What is Shardo doing? <laughs> Getting ready to kill everyone. Arrows at everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Shardo, you can you saw Mustella jump down and peek into the lean to, and uh, you can hear this the the voice come out of there. And Mustella, after she sniffed around for a minute, just went back up on the vulture. I feel like if Melissa was here, she would have immediately started punching Mevin. What? Oh! <laughs> as soon as she heard him talking, or they became best friends. You know, one of the two. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is, is James back? <laughs> no, <laughs> I guess <laughs> <laughs> she hates him, the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but I want to just crouch on this rock. I don't want Mebin to see me, but I want to keep an eye on a team. Any shit goes down. Okay. And I guess that's what Mustilla will probably she'll start looking up that way, like trying to decide if there's, you know, if she should go over there or not. <laughs> Are you asking for input from Melissa? Uh, if she's around, but I'm hoping she went to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping she went home and went to sleep. No, there's. Oh wait, no, that's Jake. Ray of fucking sunshine is Jake. Yeah. <laughs> I can prove this name. <laughs> I'm gonna change his name in my notes to Mebin Mouse. Mebin Mouse. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we might be leaving. Who's the leader? Uh, what's his name again? Oh, uh, Grolig. Grolig. How do, is it G R O L I S K? G R O L L U G. L O L L G. Oh, I see. Okay. I heard that completely wrong. Well, Mr. Grolub. Grolub? Grolug. Grolug. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name, Mr. Grolug? Grolug. Grolug. Strong G. Grolug. Uh, Grolug. <laughs> like, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> sweep of the mud butts. Uh, just remember this symbol. If you see a, a muddy butt, <laughs> Anywhere, uh, remember that we're strong. Tell the um, <laughs> what, what what's the what's it called the what was he uh, the leader or what was their group called the, the scurvy bus? Tell the scurvy bus assembly that uh, the mud butts are strong and we, and we like to ally with other strong groups. So tell them about us. Hmm. Are these shit? Hmm. Catch a an interesting beast, or maybe give us one of your giant birds, and we'll put a good uh, word in for the mud butts back in New Haxon. I th- I think these are temporary. Don't tell them. Shh. Shh. What do you mean? 
Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess, yeah, we want to make good. Yeah, yeah, they don't last long, I think. Did you kill them? No, uh, they were magically summoned. Oh. Which one of you does that? Did I see where the other ones landed? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a giant-ass vulture, so they're, they're pretty easy um, to see. Whoops. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thumb pointing back behind me thing like that way. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the one that looks like a badger. <laughs> badger? Yeah, she's super powerful. A goblin badger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> you hear <laughs> boss, they're clearly full of shit. <laughs> should, should we just shoot them? I'm just going to telepathically say, wait your turn to talk in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? And the, uh, the, the, the one that's like, sh- the ones that's like, should I just shoot them now? All right. The, the tiefling, uh, it's like she snarls. She says, get out of my head. Minor illusion, get out of my head next to her, to her right. Nice. <laughs> 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 boss this one's a smart ass i i really <laughs> really want to shoot him he just he shakes his head and just holds a hand up and says no there might actually be something here with a an alliance with these mud butts he, he says your name with a, a <laughs> chuckle yeah i like that Mm, we'll see if we can find something for you. Do you oh, know uh, the Booyogs? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'll, I'll, I'll be over to you then. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm done. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say, do you know of the Booyogs? <laughs> you hear the, the elf in the back? He says, I know the Booyogs. They're nasty little shits. <laughs> yes, they are. You yeah, came across them. We came across them attacking our home and we decimated them. Good. But if, if, if you seem to have any nasty uh, uh, info or anything that could be helpful, we can possibly bring them down if we uh, make an alliance. Mm-hmm. The whole of them, of course. Um, he says he, the, the elf one, he, he comes closer. Um, he says, so you are not allied with the Booyogs. Booyogs. Kill all Booyogs. <laughs> we drown them, we, f- we burn them, we stab them, we slash them, we tear them apart, and we feed ogres on occasion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oil and stick them in a stew. So, um, squeeze for me and buckle for you. Tick. Uh, both of you guys make a perception check. All right. Uh, damn, monocle's all fogged up again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just six. I don't see anything. No, I'm no. just talking, so I don't know. Um, I don't you're know. Too wall eyed. Yeah, you can't even see the people in front of you anymore. (laughs) As as I was talking to them, my eyes just kind of went into the back of my head, and (laughs) I had to smack it just to kind of make him come out a little bit. (laughs) So the the elf guy. uh, So you guys missed uh, some little exchange, but the elf guy, um, he starts like winding up his his uh spike chain on his fist like while he's talking to you it looks like he's trying to he's getting ready to put it away he says mm, if you're against the booyags you've been a thorn in the side of not only the servers assembly but also new hacks in general just make a mess of everything and somehow somehow they seem to have the assistance of a dragon. We heard about that. I would avoid them if possible. But he like holds a finger up. He kind of like wags it as like a, but wait, there's more. He says, um, if 
you guys are against the the Booyogs, as you say. Um, I think I think both the Cerberus Assembly and New Haxon would appreciate any assistance in removing them from the Blight Shore. It says, um, what do you know of where they're from? <laughs> do we know where they're from? I, I the mo- the most I heard was we got to watch out for Booyagle and the uh, the big green dragon. We're uh, told the I, general locations. I I guess, uh, yeah, I think we have them. a we have a map. I could open up my map and show them. Chrissy, I think you're muted out there. Yeah, Squeeb will reach into his ball sack, uh, sack, saddlebag, and pull out the map. Okay. I think they're 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 around this area here. Uh, we'll find the map. Load map. I was looking. I was trying to see in my notes if I'd written down where exactly, but I don't know if I did. Oh God! I just so happened to look at Discord <laughs> at the wrong time. <laughs> 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 Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I thought we had some comments. I was looking there. for that for a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is the Iron Teeth Mine, Gloom Claws. Shit, I can't remember it all. Mm-hmm. The uh, okay, Iron Teeth Mines the. Oh. I'm looking for it. I got too many notes. I can't find it. Um. Oh, Barknars on the yeah, the Barknars far, the far west there. Um, and then um, you don't have anything for the Booyog. We Nothing for Booyogs. Mm. I thought we knew a, a general. Like, weren't they kind of north? I think they're. Okay. Yeah, I think you were told they were to the north. And then, so I'll just have like a, on the map, we'll just have be an arrow kind of pointing to the direction where I think, where the northern area where I think they are. And then it says uh, Booyog Dicks, and then an arrow pointing that direction. <laughs> 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 so there, there's the, the map uh, actually over here. Try you guys over. I can't hear you again. You mean- it wasn't important. I was just saying, ooh, I remember this now. Okay. So yeah, you, you think um, there's somewhere between New Haxon and the, the Misgath pit. Yeah, I'll show somewhere that. Somewhere between them. them. Hmm. Yep. Um, so um, showing him your map, he he nods roughly, or he nods and he says it's roughly in the, the area there. Um, he, he points to a spot and draws. Well, it's pretty close to where I was going to put it. <laughs> he, well, he sees your note. And he, <laughs> first, he he laughs, but he says close, it's a little little further north, and he he draws an X over here. Oh, he's oh, like, thank you. Oh. They've supposedly made a home in. An area called the Grove. The Grove. I gotta write it down. It's a strangely heavily forested area, and you know from your travels on the Blight Shore, I'm sure there's not many forested spots. It's strange growth in the area. It's when it's too thick to see through, you'll know you're in the area. They the forest growth hides their numbers and just, well, as far as we know, nobody's been able to get a good count of them. That's our ultimate destination. I think we're going to head our city up there. Your city? Mm-hmm. Yeah, our city travels. It's on the back of a horizon back tortoise. Oh, oh, like the Urzen community. Ooh, uh, what? Urzen? Do we know the Urzens? You probably would have heard of it at least. It's another large community of 
like it's a collection of uh, horizon backs that travels together. Oh, are they got, is it a goblin city or is it a, it's primarily goblin city. Yep. It's primarily cool. goblin. Um, but, um, uh, like welcomes other, um, other races. Like they know that they work with, uh, uh, the dark elves and human. Oh. It's a more civilized, less savage community. I'm writing all this down. <laughs> yeah, Lord Dump Day. Yeah. Lots of stuff to write down. Seaster's usually the one that does all this too, so I'm no, like it's, trying. It's our I'm trying really hard to write everything down. <laughs> oh, um I knew uh, today was gonna be like we finally finally like really start cementing like where you guys are at and getting into some of the like wild mount lore and stuff too. Uh Buckle Tick, uh seeing that the map's out. He's going to remember a little bit of uh, those little floating uh, islands, the one that had like the, the weird uh, bugs in them, mm -hmm. as well as the caves. Uh, was this where the. I, God, I can't remember where the mines were. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't remember exactly where that was either. Where's but, it? Like uh, where, we, where we saw those. Uh, uh, insects, and then that one uh, wizard-looking insect. Oh, so it's that, um, yeah, like when you guys were on your way to the Iron Tooth Mines originally, is somewhere, yeah, somewhere around, um, it's like somewhere in that area. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, mine. I'm gonna minor illusion a uh, visual of uh, what those small ones look like. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to minor, minor illusion uh, what that one with the multiple holes in its head looked like in those floating things. Mm -hmm. He says, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if you've uh, seen these before, but these are uh, out that way. I've seen, seen the small ones for sure. They are a, a source of study for the, the assembly in New Haxon. Not seen the bigger one though. It was and part of them. It, yes. it's, it it seemed to run with them, but then uh, at one point uh, we were in a cave system uh, near mines, and uh, and I'm in a minor illusion. The one that had the staff uh, and like the weird cloak on it. I haven't seen and, one of those uh, either. I think they're going to be a big problem. Troubling. Uh, he mm. he takes a second and he thinks and he's looking at the, the illusions and he looks to Grolog. He says, "Not telling you what you should do by any means, but if these ones have run into the little nasties and seen others of their their kind, maybe we should put in the good word for them regardless and see if uh, they can't assist us a bit." Uh, Grawlo like looks for a second and he you know, like, puts a big like heavily uh, heavy gauntlet hand up strokes his chin yes yes I think they could be useful well it, when next we're back in New Hacks and I, uh, I will pass the word along the, uh, the Mudbutt tribe has had run-ins with these things crawlers and uh, I'm not sure they have names for the other ones yet. I think, I think the assembly would be keen to hire you. How about? Ooh. I can't speak for them, mind you. I think they'll they'll be all right with you. They work with many different groups, and I mean, look at us. And he like holds his hands out wide and and laughs about it. Um. And he says, wait until you meet Ragnan. He's an interesting fellow. Um, but if you can, try to capture one of these things the next time you see him. It'd be even best if you could capture one of the the other ones that we haven't seen. Um, mm. They they like to uh, study them and, and see what, uh, what the calamities brought as far as changes in the Flora and fauna, the land itself, as I'm sure you've 
you've seen some changes and oddities. Oh, we've seen yes. a lot of weird stuff. Now, if we capture one, do we take it to New Haxon? New Haxon, unless you can find us, we should be here maybe another week or so. But after that, um, we're taking whatever we can capture back to New Haxon. Okay, so if we catch anything in that meantime, we'll we'll meet you here. If not, we'll go back to New Haxon. If we have to go to New Haxon, can you give us anything that would grant us passage? Um, he looks over to the, the tiefling. Uh, he says, uh, Talana, the coin. And um, she uh, like does a heavy sigh and, and pulls out a coin. Um, she looks it over for a second and she uh, takes a dagger and she draws like carves into it as much as she can um, and kind of symbol and she hands it over to him. He says, contact whoever holds this, but it comes with a condition. It says, whoever has this will be able to be scried upon at will by anyone in the, the Cerberus assembly that sees fit to because they won't know you have it now, obviously, but until we get back there, but there'll be their, their primary means of communing with you. Just can't pull you to them or just show up randomly at the coin, but they'll be able to, to scry upon you through magical means or perhaps talk to you even. That seems fine. Yeah. I don't mind anybody spying on me. They'll just see Squeeb peeing off a of block talk from time to time. Yeah. On yeah. Nick Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never peed on Nick Nick. No. I might have splattered her. Just I might have splattered her. Yeah. You or I guess sprinkled it, when you tinkle. <clears throat> I guess that they, they didn't actually hand the coin to anyone yet, right? Not yet. Like he was getting ready to, but he was telling you like, okay. what comes with like accepting the coin. <laughs> okay. Who's on the other end of this coin? Can I talk to them like by holding it? No. It's not a not a two way thing. Uh we have another coin that we rub and uh it summons uh, the Tulur Horde. The whole horde? Nah, just the leaders. Oh. Well, <laughs> it sounds like you guys have a thing with coins. <laughs> or, or you do. I don't know. You do. I've, <laughs> I've got to learn that trick. That's actually really nice. So, um, <laughs> he's, he holds it out to you and says, it's yours if you want it. Absolutely. All right. So you take it. And so the, the quick, like etching carving, she did on it, um, with a dagger, it looks like, um, three diamond like shapes pointed inward towards themselves. And like eight lines, four on either side that kind of arch up, uh, around the sides of it. Now, is there someone I show this to in New Haxon when we come into town? Mm. Says I'm fairly positive they'll contact you first and tell you where to go. Mm. So it looks, <laughs> just like a, a rough <laughs> scrawling. It it looks kind of like this, but better. This is just a shittily drawn. Uh, representation of it it does not look like an insect or a spider because the the three at the top have like a rough diamond shape to them what do you carve a butthole on this thing looks awful wrinkly might be an old one too oh yeah, yeah that's definitely an old butthole oh, God. <laughs> thank you Matt Eve Mercer <laughs> for giving us this module to play with
Well, I guess I can't really say anything. Our symbol's a big muddy butt, so you know. <laughs> True. Each to their own, you know. True. <laughs> we like the cheeks. We like the cheeks, and you guys like the hole. <laughs> yeah. like, like a great match. <laughs> a great <laughs> match. It was the meant to, to be. My hole. I can see why we're working together. This makes a lot of sense. It's kind of like fate, you know? That almighty. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I think I just died a little inside. <laughs> oh god. Oh, is the Cerberus Assembly, is it all like uh, people like you? Like uh, orcs and uh, hobgoblins and you get this something? Uh, I'm just wondering. Who's... There's not just all humans there, is there? Yeah, who's the big guys up top? No, they're not all humans. Ah, oh, thank uh... God. <laughs> <laughs> they employ a lot of different people, like ourselves. That sounds good. We do the same. We got we like different races, just not humans. <laughs> <laughs> still doing a dick measuring contest. Yeah. They're just still <laughs> comparing. <laughs> it says no, the assembly is run by wizards mostly. Just probably will never meet the people that run it. Just make sure you're respectful of any members of it. All right. That's, that's good advice. <laughs> I'll tell you any other things you find, uh, artifacts, anything related to the calamity, uh, not just creatures. That's kind of just our thing, our specialty, but any, anything related to the calamity, uh, especially artifacts, creatures, um, any maybe manuscripts from the time, they will be extraordinarily interested in those and probably pay handsomely for it. Mm. And then a the little rat ears perk up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. We, I mean, we're all over the place, so I'm sure we'll, we might stumble across something. Do that. Make yourself some make yourself some coin and make us look good for finding <laughs> another flashes another big tusky grin. Oh, I'm glad we landed down here now. Yeah. This, this was a good meeting. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I ask uh, what the elf's name is. That uh that that's Everin. He he keeps track of the uh the beasties when we find them. Everin. E V R I N. E V R I N. Hey, Mustella, how much more time do we have on these vultures? The vultures disappear the from under you. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still fairly early in the day, is it? I can't remember if it was uh probably midday or later now. Well, maybe it's later than midday because uh, this is all happening in the, the same day that you uh, had that encounter at the watering hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Now we got to travel by foot. Well, you have Bok Talk. Okay, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Pop out of Estella's bag before I pop back into Nick Nick form. I see you creeping, Jake. Jake's creeping? Or is, he, or is the short tooth creeping? Time. Oh, I see him creeping now. I did that when he was on the map map. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, you got it, Nick Nick. I was just going to tell you how to <laughs> switch it back. Yep. Yeah, so we're headed to the Swift Stabs. Um, can you guys give us any information on them? Swift Stabs? Yeah, another g- goblin tribe. Shakes his head. 
I haven't heard of Swift Stabs. You guys got too many tribes out here. Yeah, well, they teamed up with the Booyogs and attacked our, our tribe. I mean, guys should all team up. A bunch of goblins. Be like yeah, us. They and- if they weren't attacking us, that's what we're <laughs> trying to do. We're trying to get all the goblins together. A lot of them don't want to side, so we just have to kill them. <laughs> oh, uh, sounds like goblins. <laughs> No, but I haven't heard of well pretty much any of the tribes you mentioned except for the the Booyogs and uh, Urzen, probably the most well known one. Mm. Who's the testy one behind the crates? <laughs> eh, that's Talana. She's uh Talana doesn't really care for people, as you can understandable. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a Sharto. He's like that, too. Yeah, it's one in every punch. <laughs> <laughs> you can see her behind him, just flipping him off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, should we get going, or do you guys want to hang out some more? Is, um... <laughs> boner. <laughs> <laughs> Boner. Is that why Sardo's hiding behind the, the tent there? <laughs> He's pitching his own tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Once I don't know. Did, bring you... this <laughs> did, they, did they say that uh, it wouldn't be long until Ragnan got back? Because he might have some, so have some useful information or... Uh... I can't remember if they said anything, if uh, or, they knew what time it was going to go back or not. Oh, Ragnar's out hunting. Yeah, I think he was staying just outside of uh, Puddlestrom. Puddlestrom. Uh, Puddlestrom. He was supposed to go there for a lead. You can track him down there and find him, help him. Uh, just don't piss him off. He's... Even more testy than Talana back there. He's uh, He's got a bit of a vicious streak, too. Well, crap, if he's like that, what if we kill him by accident? Don't kill my tracker. <laughs> All right, what is Ragnan? It doesn't sound human. No, no, most of us aren't. He's a big knoll companion. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> James is happy. <laughs> Sorry. Puddlestrom. Okay. Ragnan's in Puddlestrom. And he looks like a cute little gnoll. Huh. And <clears throat> so gnolls are like eight feet tall, so it's a cute giant <laughs> gnoll. I mean, everything's cute, giant to giant. a goblin. A oh, like, good giant gnoll. Iris, Nick, Nick, and Mustella here. Fuck Ragnan! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's it's Mevin. <laughs> Mevin. Mevin Mouse. Well, crap, we just got a side quest from our main quest. <laughs> Grolog <Grog> laughs. <laughs> Grolog laughs and he says <laughs> our uh, <laughs> our little uh, guide, if you can call him that, he's Easily the worst guide we've ever had. She's not too fond of Ragnan. Ragnan sees him for the weak thing that he is and tends to mess with him when he's around. Mm. Well, that's not too nice. Maybe he deserves to die. I mean, uh, Ragnan's not <laughs> nice. Ragnan, the not nice no. The Ganot Ganot. The Ganot and Ganot Ganot. No, it doesn't sound like he can be trusted. I don't know if I really want to meet this guy. I don't know. He sounds like he might be a cool guy. Uh, no. Don't don't trust him. He does his job. Me. <laughs> he does Sorry. his job. He just... Well, I don't imagine he's actually staying in Puddlestrom. I don't, don't think too many people would put up with him. 
Uh, okay, I have to ask you, did any, have any of us ever heard of Puddlestrom? Mm, you can make history checks, maybe. I'll... Would, would you allow a history check? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'll allow it. Ugh, I keep getting threes on history checks. Why? <laughs> Sorry. I failed you. You can roll for Iris, too, and see if maybe uh, her dice work better. Uh, she's a little uh, indisposed because she keeps on uh, gumming on uh, Mastella's tail and just snamelling her. <laughs> oh, aka <laughs> you don't have control of her token on this map. <laughs> I do. I do. I, well, I did on the last one. <laughs> there, hold on. No, you have it. There we go. Wait, where the hell is she? <laughs> <laughs> she snuck Why away. She <laughs> Oh no, I, I meant Miss Mistella because I, I went down. I was like, wait a second. I thought she was looking after me. <laughs> Mistella waddled up there to see what everybody was doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be back in place. Sorry. Let so, me introduce to you Lady Mistella and Iris. <laughs> no, no, Lady Iris? I, I don't know what she is. <laughs> She's not a lady. <laughs> 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 Mostella, Mostella will be on all fours and just sniffing cautiously. Precious is also doing the same thing. Okay. It, Grawl, he just laughs. Like, well, how many are you? <laughs> uh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> Fine. But it's a strange, strange bunch of guys. <laughs> Why is that one on all fours? She's a badger. She's shy at first, but oh uh, god! Let, let let her smell your hand, and you know <laughs> she'll get used to you. Um, <laughs> so Mustella, when you're 15, you you have heard of Puddlestrom in passing, like from <clears throat> maybe from a different little like town or village or something that you visited. Um, mm. And the only thing you've really heard about it is that it's like a small community. Okay. Um, it's here on the Blight Shore, but it's it's kind of a small, like sheltered community. I'm writing it down real quick. That's heard. Of it. Okay. Is that the town that bullied you? No. Uh. No, Puddlestrom sounds actually nice to go to. Oh, <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> What's the name of the town that, that you came from, b -tick? Oh, you know, the one I mentioned way before, Ben. James didn't really write down a name, so <laughs> to that in a little bit. James going to have to work with the DM. <laughs> is, <laughs> can I make up a name on the spot, DM? I'll try to make it sound cool, sure. or at least make it sound fantasy. I'll be a few minutes. Well, that's not on the spot. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Daycrum. Daycrum. D A K R U M. Yeah, that's pretty good on the spot. Okay. Uh, that what's the name of the night crumb? <laughs> what, what's the name of that of your goblin tribe that we got to kill? Uh, Daycrum. Oh, that's Daycrum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the same tribe. <laughs> that was like All if, right, well, if, if Wolf Holden's w was called uh, Mudbutt. Mudbutt. If the tribe and the home were the, the same name. Mudbutt. 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 He says, anyways, Grawlig, he'll say, if you, can, you can find uh, Ragnan in, in Puddlestrom, like I said. Tell him you met us. Be careful around him. He just, just, and he like holds up his fingers and like the like the small gesture. He's like he's just civilized enough to deal with people, but they usually don't want him to stick around, given his, uh, you know, appearances. And his rather large companion. As, uh, he'll probably be found on the outskirts of town. Maybe not inside the walls, but near it. His large companion? 
Uh, yeah, who's that? Travels with a large dog beast. Uh, is he Yark? Mm. <laughs> Why do we want to find him? Oh, he can help you track things or maybe give you a lead for one of the creatures we're after. Oh. Yeah. Well, crap. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to track down some beasts or go kill some swift stabs? I wonder if he could track swift stabs, too. Well, we already, we already got a swift stab tracker right here. We got sticks. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we look for the Should we look for the beasts or creatures or whatevs? How close are we? We're, we we keep going west. The swift stabs are to the west. And Grawler, oh. like he he hears it and he says, "Well, Puddlestrom is about due west from here as well." Oh, on the way. Well, that sounds good. We'll pick mm-hmm. up lunch on the way. Get our bloodthirst out of the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell him like a plan. Yes. Yes. We can all stop by Ye Old McDonald's. <laughs> ye Old McDonald's. Yeah. Ye Old McDonald's. Far Remember my McDonald's. first old time hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm starting to get a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> No one, no one. Shout out to end quest lines before they begin. Are we going to fly there? Mastella, are we going to fly? We could, actually. I could re-summon the vultures. Um, do, 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 do. Making sure I have the spell slot for it. Yeah, I do. Grawl will tell you that oh, Puddlestrom's about a, a half day. Maybe a little less, or oh, sorry, half day or a little more than uh, of a walk to the west. Just stick on the road. Okay, will we be welcome in that town, or do we get to hide? You know, because we're goblins. Oh, Puddlestrom at least talked to Ragnan. They're actually fairly well known for dealing with almost anyone, so long as you act in a hospitable manner. Yeah, I think we can do that. And I'm looking around for Shardo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see him. Oh, yeah, I know I wouldn't be able to see him, but I'm just <laughs> scanning around, just going, ooh. ooh. <laughs> what are you doing? Listening to the conversation. No, you're not up to anything else? Nothing no. else you want to do? I want to shoot him and kill him, but everyone says no. <laughs> All right. So, is there is there anything anyone else wants to do while we're here? No, we're good. Yeah. All right. So we got our kind of a large lore dump out of the way. Got some side quests, little info on your your main quest, and I, I think we'll we'll wrap up this uh, session right here. Um. So yeah, uh, everybody, for thanks for watching. Um. And, like I said we, earlier, we're we're trying to establish um, the mud butts. The, no, not yet. That's that's for later from the mud butts. No, we're we're trying to establish the the, the fact that the mud butts are in Wild Mount as a whole now. So we'll we'll be getting into more and more of uh, the the Wild Mount Alexandria lore, um, and yeah, the Cerberus assembly is kind of a, a big deal for that. And, you know, sticking to the Blight Shore, uh, New Haxon might be a, a good place for him to visit down the line. Um, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep coming back and find out what else they find and um, who else they interact with. Maybe other groups they interact with. Um, but yeah, uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Um, new people, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it, had fun. And, uh, you know, come back, subscribe. Keep coming back, checking out the videos. Um, there's there's lots of fun stuff coming up. I know James has got some some cool stuff in the works. I gotta balance it 
because you know James and Melissa being the artist, uh, I have to tell them what they're drawing without giving away story things. And <laughs> I think James is pretty excited by a couple of the things coming up, and I'm super excited to see yeah. one of them for sure. I'm like pumped for it. I hope that's what you're talking about for the line art later. Yes, indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. love super James art. Excited. Love Melissa art. It's all so good. It's yep. all good art. It's I always get super good. excited when you guys send me stuff. <laughs> yeah uh, so we'll get out of here we'll, we'll call it a, a session here and um again thanks everybody for coming back if you, if you could you know share a link to uh to someone you think might like uh our show and uh, we appreciate the help uh growing and uh getting the channel's name out there uh, we just we have fun doing it and we hope you guys have fun watching it and um oh yeah merch we have merch in it so make sure you check the uh the description for the link to the merch uh, there's a lot of fun stuff in there and get yourself some, uh, some goblin merch, some, some mud butt mugs or something a lot of cool <laughs> stuff in there. And the mimic dice, the mimic dice symbol is cool. It is. <laughs> I, oh yeah. I use it as my, uh, reactive image. So yeah, I quite enjoy the, the mimic dice. Um, Yay. there's a lot of stuff in there, um, uh, with the designs currently we'll update the story with some more, uh, down the line. Yes. Um, but yeah, or We'll go ahead and we'll call it good. So thanks for watching Bye. and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Adios. Bye. 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 Bye.